Elsom did not go well at all. Um, but here we go. On the other side of things, now Elsom popping off with the uh, Asuri. No character he was just playing against. And he's like, you know what? I, I saw some pretty cool stuff in there. Let me, uh, let's see if I can do that. Okay. I don't whiff here right at the beginning, but still the damage uh, being mostly on to uh, Elsom. Doggo. It's a hot start here. Maybe Ooh. maybe pulling some of that momentum from the last That's game. That's zero to death. Yeah, I don't I think I hit not not once actually. Still sitting in that perfect white, you know. Yeah, I thought uh, like I'm pretty sure Elsom still had the recovery there. I guess I think he was gonna expect he was expecting to touch the corner there, which is why he didn't do more actions and unfortunately just fell to his death. Uh, really nice start for Adago against Elsom, the steaming scythe main. Okay. All right, this is, yeah, this is uh, wow. terrible. Yeah, he's just going to give yeah. that stock up. And I don't know if he's going to give up the whole game. But, yeah, this for, this was not a good game for him at all. Uh, not sure if we're actually going to be able to get back into it. But it doesn't look like it when you got combinations like that. You were getting pieced up. <laughs> yes, just leave. What happened? Just go. It's time to just, it, it, you have to go. You <laughs> My people need me. <laughs> he just floats off into the distance. 74 damage put out from El Elsom. Complete destruction from Kanga's Doggo. I don't even, like, there's no breakdown or analysis you can give. That was just Elsom getting destroyed. Yeah, I just, the only breakdown and analysis we can give is switch characters immediately. Expeditiously. <laughs> it's time for you to get off of the, this is not for you. So I, we need to see some more Scythe Legends from you. Oh, he's he's keeping it. He's sticking with it. No, what, Elsom, are you throwing? <laughs> like, what is <laughs> Right, he's either throwing or he wants this is for content. This is for content. Yo, I, just, I was gonna say uh, he, he's got he's he's pimping his TTV on his uh, player tag. It's TTV Elson BH. So maybe he's just trying to say like, hey, come watch the content live on my stream. Yeah, man. Because like right now, I feel like he, this is this is so he can go for the reverse three zero. That's gonna be the biggest content uh, drip of all time, right there. Yeah. <laughs> throwing two. It's it's the YouTube video title writes itself. Like throwing two games and winning. Yep. I made it. I made an insane comeback. Like, okay, <laughs> all right, buddy. Like, well, we'll see. I mean, you're gonna have to do something because the way that that first game started uh, was terrible, and the second game doesn't look like it's starting much better. All uh, right, now he did get a hit uh, before he lost that first stock, so there's that. Doesn't get the dunk down, Doggo. Just underneath it. Elsom looking a lot more lively here in game number two. Still not getting as much damage, but you know what? It's uh. More than the zero damage he got on his first stock last game. Yes. And that's honestly all that matters right now. <laughs> like, yeah. Just as long as you were playing better than that first game, because honestly, right now, the first game was pretty much over. So. so it's a wash, though. He's moving on from it. He's getting good damage. Doggo currently unarmed, and Elsom trying to deny it. Doesn't get the dunk down, though, and Doggo's going to punish with the side air. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That was clean right there. Get the neutral air into the immediate uh, gravity cancel neutral sig. Nice little uppercut right there. Elsom's got some face of his own though. Launches Doggo. Still not quite enough to finish off this stock. Needs a little bit more damage on this one. Fate can be surprisingly tanky sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Stepping out of there. Nope. That's another hit right there as well. Fate. No dancing on him. You missed the weapon toss. Still not enough. I think she's been hit so often, or so much too, with this weapon in hand. I, the, the disarm has to be coming soon if she doesn't get uh, sent out of here, though. Okay. Well, she's just disarm. gonna disarm herself. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Gravity cancel down heavy. Just put out a big old hitbox at the bottom there. Doggo gonna lose that first stock, but also did take quite a bit of damage there to get that stock. Yeah. So, okay. Man, to scoop up that uh that orb. Orb's definitely been what's been bringing, uh, bringing home the bacon here for Doggo. It's mostly Orb. I feel like there's been a slight scythe play, but if you've been talking about the bigger uh, hits and the bigger combos, it's mostly been Orb racking it up right now. Just over the down sig. Still also not getting the biggest damage on his, uh, his engagements with Doggo. Gets back onto the stage. I honestly thought he was going to like go straight into the, the Warp Star. Because like it seems yeah. like... That that weapon toss seemed like it actually forced Doggo or, or Elson to hit the ground, so would have been like a nice try at a pickup there, but doesn't seem to matter too much. He's still got a good damage lead. Just has to find this last hit. No neutral stick gonna find the mark. 
Just barely missing here. Doggo trying to find this finishing blow, but Elsum is getting these hits here and there, trying to find his way back into this game number two. Otherwise, Doggo's gonna be in a really strong position. And there's that warp star you were talking about, the side signature, and uh, sends it forward for the knockout. Yeah. Could have been, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't really see too many people send it down. Uh, I feel like the down one has like significantly less force, but I guess if you're like off the stage, oh. that was clean. If you're off the stage, that's always going to be nice if you're sending down in a way, and obviously that's never the way you want to go in a platform fighter. So, uh, still, yeah, though, it's even game. Yeah, the, uh, you definitely don't see that that uh, down uh, active input as often. But, yeah, like you said, Elsom able to even it up off that ground pound into the recovery on the Katara's. And a uh, very real possibility of Elsom taking this into uh, game number three, tying it one apiece. Uh-oh. Nice hits from Elsom. Okay. Oh, that weapon toss right there to go ahead and keep that combo going. Picks it up and gets the uh, the uh, down air sent backwards. But weapon toss yet again. Managed to pick it up. That was very far away, but <laughs> generous, generous grab box right there. <laughs> She's uh, just getting the tip of that scythe, and it is going right into her hands. But the recovery from underneath, Elsom almost taking game number two. Nice weapon toss stops the movement from Doggo. Elsom disarms himself. Oh, oh, that's that a nair. That's bad. I feel like that was a recovery for sure. Yeah. Like. That was just a reaction there. Just like, I'm going to hit him with something. Don't let him get away with it. But a side light, Sarah. That's not enough. Okay. Playing it safe because obviously, yeah, man, if, if a stray recovery hits, you're gone. So got to play it relatively safe here on this stock. He tries it. Okay, that's oh, it. That's it. That's yep, it. That's it. Yep. yep. Oh, man. Okay, so Fate, I mean, the Asuri actually kind of popping off here in the second game. First game was was pretty bad for sure, but that second game was a, a lot more respectable, almost to a victory on uh, Elsom's side. I wonder if he's going to keep it again. Yep, he's going to yeah, keep it again. Going straight, it. Uh, straight Asuri. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I guess Elsom is seeing something in his Katars. Of course, he did have some momentum moments there with the Katars, but... Uh, here we go. Game number three. Elsom, uh, one game away from getting knocked out of the tournament, and Doggo continuing on in the bracket. All right. I like that gravity cancel sidelight from Doggo. Able to keep that momentum going onto Elsom. Good damage coming out from Doggo. Again, the side air is not going to go for the swap over to the side. Those that he has Elsom in that kill percent, and the orb is the better weapon for that situation. Oh, okay. The perfect dodge. Go through that uh, ground pound, though. Yeah, I mean, Elsom, I mean, he's, he is behind, but he's definitely had he definitely had the stage control for about a good 10 seconds there. Get himself back into this game. All right. Some good movement here, but oh. Throwing, the, throwing that uh, gravity cancel side light. Put himself in a bad position. Oh, great catch, but not enough for the KO still. Great read on that. No one is going to jump up. Yeah, we're seeing Doggo struggle to finish the stock off, but the shotgun blast from the side will e or will give him the stock advantage. Now he needs to get that extra credit. Elsom going to taunt on his respawn. Okay. Do it. All right. Off the platform. He's a little higher up, so definitely a stronger chance of getting that knockout with that recovery there. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and get this stock. We're doing some good damage here. Still. I'm trying to add it up. See, it ends up getting the stock advantage uh, right now as we have a pretty, uh, again, a pretty even game. Elson not too far behind. Overextended a little bit there. But doesn't seem to matter too much. Unarmed. Yeah, I'm definitely, I, I feel like, honestly, Doggo just wants to play uh, Orb. There's, <laughs> the the Scythe did get a kill earlier with the shotgun, but it has been mostly Orb action from him. Respectable, sure, though. I, I like that. I kind of play Fate the same way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's got a great Orb kit, for sure. Doggo, again, going to throw out the neutral signature, misses the weapon toss. Elsom going to take full advantage. Doesn't hit his side air, though. The big momentum opportunity for Elsom off the soft platform. Again, D-Light recovery. And Elsom poised to take game number three and take this to another uh, match. Yeah. Okay. Big juke. Juked up. Now we're going to see how he can even this up right now. Playing a little, a little risky off the side, but luckily Elsom just more concerned about getting back to stage than actually getting some type of counterattack. Okay. Weapon toss. 
back onto the orb. I think that was a neutral stick that actually got stuffed. Yeah, you heard the startup of it. All right, well, easy down here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. After a while, that stock was going to go, so. Good it didn't take too long to get that down there. And uh, now we're down to final stocks. Basically even here. Doggo, yeah, off the... Oh, he didn't jump. He didn't jump for the Nair, but he's still got a lot of damage to keep this evened up. All right. Looking for that down air. Mix right here as well. Oh. That weapon toss on so Yeah, that was going to be a nice little combination. I'm sure he wouldn't mean to do it on purpose, but would have been nice. Uh, it would have been nice for sure, because at least it would have sent in a diagonal down. But Doggo disarmed off the recovery, picks up another orb, but he's just getting slapped around here. Ooh. Awesome. Oh. Ready to take it, but he's getting a little eager. Yeah, I, I thought, honestly, I thought he was going to go for a, a gravity cancel side sig, but yeah, he, he popped him a little too far up, so. That was a little eager right there. Dash and trade in, going for the side light, but. Yeah, this is down to the wire, but mostly for Fate. She has to survive for a little longer as we don't really have the KO percentage uh, yet on Elsom. Outside of like a, a stray Sig, and he looked for it. Yeah. If he catches the Sig, could still take this one 3 0. The side air is going to put him off screen. Doggo. Another side air, and Doggo will take it 3 0 over Elsom. Yeah, it was getting closer Rough. and closer for Elson, but just could not find that victory. Now, I'm really cons I'm really interested as to why he de decided not to play Scythe at all. Maybe he just doesn't really want to do the Scythe a mirror, or he doesn't like Scythe versus Orb, because there wasn't really it wouldn't wouldn't have really been a Scythe mirror with the amount of time that Doggo spent on the Orb. But yeah, just not working out for Elson. He's gonna be taking that fourth place while Doggo moves on to play against Kyler Alice, trying to get this victory. And uh and see if he can get into grand finals and a, and a chance to uh, play against uh, Dummy. So Dummy versus Doggo or Dummy versus Kyler Alice is coming up ne uh, after this match. We'll see what happens. Yeah, right now, Kyler Alice, like you said, kind of just went straight into the Bode Bar. No longer messing around with the Jay Yun here. Doggo uh, uh, likely will be coming in with the Fate again. I'm trying to see if there's any other character picks that we saw from Doggo get reported, but no, it's been all Fate all day. And now uh, this is a tough spot on either side, right? Winner of this one goes on into Dummy, who has yet to drop a game today and has to beat Dummy 